Mastering the passive voice with modal verbs in English. Hello, English learners around the world. Today, we are going to delve into a fascinating part of the English language, the passive voice with modal verbs. Specifically, we'll learn about the structure, subject plus modal verb plus B plus past participle. Buckle up and get ready to master this aspect of English grammar. In English, we use the passive voice when we want to focus on the action and the object that receives the action, rather than who or what is performing the action. For example, instead of saying, John painted the house, active voice, we might say, the house was painted by John, passive voice. The emphasis shifts from John to the house. Now, let's talk about modal verbs. These are special verbs that express necessity, possibility, permission, or ability. The common modal verbs in English are can, could, may, might, will, would, shall, should, must, and ought to. When we combine passive voice and modal verbs, we use the structure subject plus modal verb plus be plus past participle. This structure allows us to talk about actions that might, could, should, or must happen, but with the emphasis still on the action, not who does it. Here's an example. The report must be completed by Friday. In this sentence, the report is the subject, must, is the modal verb, be, is the auxiliary verb, and, completed, is the past participle. The focus is on the report that needs completion, not on who must complete it. Let's practice with more examples. Remember, the structure is, subject plus modal verb plus B plus past participle. 1. The room should be cleaned. 2. The car could be repaired. 3. The cake must be baked. See how the structure works. Practice makes perfect. While this structure generally applies to all modal verbs, there's one exception, ought to. With ought to, you don't need the be. For example, the books ought to be returned is correct, but the books ought to returned is not. And that's it for today, folks. I hope this video has made the concept of subject plus modal verb plus be plus past participle in passive voice clearer to you. Keep practicing with more examples, and soon, you'll master this part of English grammar. As always, happy learning and keep enjoying English.